It is week four of our summer Madden series here on Steelers Talk. The Steelers are 3-0, traveling to Indianapolis to take on the Colts to try to remain undefeated in the simulated Madden season. Welcome into Steelers Talk. I'm your host, Jack Sperry. And today, six-minute quarters uh, for game week four of this matchup here between the Steelers and Colts. Colts coming into this game here in our simulated season. Record one and two. Steelers undefeated. There's only four undefeated teams in football at this point in our simulated season, and the Steelers are one of them. Uh, here on Steelers Talk, we're going to be doing the simulated Steelers season all throughout the uh, you know throughout the summer, pretty much leading up into when the Steelers play their first preseason game this year. So every single Wednesday and every single Friday, we are going to be going live on the channel to do these Madden live streams. So if you're watching this and you haven't tuned into our live shows, you're really missing out on a great time every Wednesday, every Friday until pretty much the end of July when, of course, preseason is right around the corner. Uh, we'll do any playoff streams if the Steelers end up making the playoffs. And with a 3-0 and start, we might be heading there right now, Steelers Nation. So make sure you click that subscribe button right now if you haven't already to catch all of our Madden live streams this summer and see what Madden thinks the Steelers are going to do this season. So before we get into it, guys, make sure you go down there for our pinned comment today and let me know who is going to win this matchup. Will Pittsburgh go into Indy and take a win from the Colts, type PIT, or do you think the Colts defend home field advantage here, type uh, IND down there for the Colts. Again, this is going to be the pinned comment on today's show. So YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. And when that happens, take advantage of that time by answering today's pin question. So now our Super Chat menu for the people watching live. Any Super Chat, you're going to get a shout-out. $10, uh, we're going to do shots. $20, you get your name on the Helmet Hall of Fame. And then 100 you get into Steelers Talk Gold Club for life. And all of these items right here are half off on Venmo. And the reason why we ask for Venmo, guys, not Super Chat, is because YouTube takes a part of the proceeds when you Super Chat. But on Venmo, we get to keep a larger portion of the proceeds. So if you want to donate to the channel, I really do appreciate all of your guys' support. I'm at Jack underscore or Jack Dash Sperry on Venmo, or you could scan the QR code. Thank you guys for all of your support. And with that, week four of the 2024 NFL season, Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Indianapolis Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium. Second year quarterback Anthony Richardson versus the vet. Russell Wilson, who has led this Steelers team in this simulated season to a 3-0 and start with new offensive coordinator Arthur Smith leading the way offensively. Najee Harris has been fantastic to start this season. Calvin Austin III has had two big performances. And then last week, George Pickens went off in Week 3 against the Chargers. Russell Wilson struggled a bit in Week 3 against the Chargers, uh, especially, you know, you know at half, close to halftime. Second half wasn't the best, but he got the job done, getting a 17-10 victory. Hopefully, Russ can have a bounce-back performance here in Week 4. Shane Steichen, the head coach of the Colts. Anthony Richardson, the quarterback. Hyper-athletic. Um, you know, he had a pretty darn good rookie season coming off that shoulder injury, though. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the Steelers' defense holds up against the super-talented Richardson. And we're about to kick things off. They're from Lucas Oil Stadium. The Colts will get the football first. Let's go, baby. Wave those towels if you're with me. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Come on, folks! Week four, three and zero, trying to stay undefeated. Let's get this show on the road from Indianapolis. Come on now, where else would you want to be as we kick things off in Indy? The Colts take it out from the one. It's going to make a cut, and he's going to get to about the twenty-five. So I mean, same result as if it went out of the end zone. And here is Anthony Richardson, second-year quarterback out of Florida taken with the fifth overall pick by the uh, Indianapolis Colts two seasons ago. Had a pretty good start to his rookie campaign, and then his season was uh, cut short by a shoulder injury. And he's coming back this season trying to prove he could be a superstar-level quarterback in this league. So who you guys got? Type PIT for Pittsburgh or IND for the Colts as the first play from scrimmage here. Pistol formation for the Colts. 
takes the snap, hands it off to Jonathan Taylor. He's going to try to sift his way through. Good run defense by the Steelers. Three-yard gain, second down and seven. Patrick Queen on the tackle. Those sixes, baby. Get those sixes going. Get those tackles wrapped up, Patrick. Let's go. Come on, folks. If you're not pumped up for Madden football, I don't know if you've got a heartbeat. I don't know if you've got a pulse. Come on now. Second down and seven. Shotgun formation. Richardson hands it off to Taylor. He's got a big hole. He's going to get to the 40. Makes a man miss. What a juke from Jonathan. And he gets to midfield. Made a Steeler look silly there. I don't even know who he made uh, <laughs> who he made fall down there. He broke somebody's ankles. And somebody pushes him in the back after the, after the whistle. I mean, what are we doing here? We want to attack on another 15 yards here? Come on, we got to play smart. First down and 10 from midfield. Richardson from the shotgun. Takes the snap. He's looking. Plenty of time. He's got to throw to his check down in the flat. It is caught, but it's going to be a loss of one. Joey Porter Jr. Uh, taps, it, taps him down there. And it'll be second down and long upcoming. God, did I just disconnect this? I might have just monitors off. There we go. Second down and 11. Pistol formation. Richardson looking, trying to get away. Good pressure by the Steelers. It's going to be caught in the flat for a gain of about 10. It'll be third down and one. Come on, baby. Type those threes in the chat. Type those threes. We need to stop right here defensively for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Come on, baby. From the shotgun, Richardson. Takes it, hands it off to Jonathan. He's going to make a man miss. Is he going to get there? It's going to be close. No, he didn't get there. It's a tackle for loss for TJ Watt. And it's going to be fourth down and short. <laughs> Type those S's for the stop. Do you think uh, Indianapolis goes for it here, Producer Sam? I think it's a little too early in the game. Yeah, I, I think thought, he, I, uh, unless, I don't uh, know, man. I don't know. Unless Shane Steichen's a really confident man and we just had no idea. They now. will punt a big-time stop for the Steelers' defense here on the first drive of the game. Spam those stops. And the no, it's a fake punt. And he's going to throw it. He's open. It's no. What a play. Oh, Cordero Patterson absolutely levels the receiver. And Pittsburgh takes over on downs. What a – was. I mean, is Dan Campbell on the sidelines for – for Indianapolis right now? Oh, man. Coming out with the fire here, but now Pittsburgh takes over at the 41-yard line. Great field position as here comes Russell Wilson leading the Steelers team to a 3-0 start in our Madden simulated season. Now a great opportunity for the Steelers offense to put points up on the board to start today's football game. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen on this drive down there in the chat from the shotgun. Russ, quick throw over the middle, caught wide open. It is, I believe that's Cordero Patterson in the slot, and it's going to be a big gain for 24 yards and a Steelers first down. Let's go. Type those ones. Type those ones. Now in the shotgun again, Russell Wilson. Three receiver set for Pittsburgh. Takes the snap. It's going to be a handoff to Najee Harris. He's going to make a man. No, it's, that's Cordero Patterson again. They're feeding Cordero to start this game, and it's going to be a gain of seven. This is absolutely crazy. Cordero Patterson is the key to the Steelers' offense to start this game. Is Najee Harris hurt? What the hell is going on? Second down and three. Russ from the shotgun takes the snap. Quick throw. It's caught by Cordero out of the backfield. And Cordero Patterson has gotten three touches to start this game and two Steelers first downs. Type those ones as we get close to the Fanatics red zone here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're inside the Fanatics red zone right now at the 18. Now under center for the first time. Play action to Najee. Plenty of time for Russ. He's trying to escape the pocket. He's going to run. He's going to get to the 10, and he's going to dive down to the six-yard line. First down, Steelers as Russ is flexing on the Colts defense. You love to see it. You love to see it, folks. You really do. First down and goal in the Fanatics red zone here. I formation. It's Najee time. It's Najee time, folks. 
Going to be a toss to Najee on the outside, and toss plays never work in Madden. They are absolutely terrible. The loss of two yards to the eight-yard line. Keep feeding Cordero Patterson. Let's go. Come on, folks. Second down and goal for the Steelers. Also, shout out to Elliptic Six if you're watching this. Rocking your number six jersey today. From the, shot, from the shotgun handoff to Najee. He's trying to find his way through. He's going to get to the four. It'll be third down and goal for the Steelers. Now, for the first offensive series for Pittsburgh last week, that ended in a field goal, and that was disappointing. This time, you're faced with a third and goal on the four-yard line. Hell, if I'm Mike Tomlin and this is an incomplete pass, I'm going for this, all right? I'm going for this. Stay aggressive. Go put seven on the board. From the shotgun, Russ looking. Got time, throws middle, caught, touchdown, Steelers! Here we go, Steelers, here we go! Here we go, Steelers, here we go! Here we go, Steelers, here we go! Russell Wilson, it's George Pickens for his second touchdown reception of the season. Steelers going to be up 7 nothing. Pending a field goal or a PAT attempt from Chris Boswell. And it is up and it is good. Steelers up 7 nothing early there in Indy. Let's go. And there's Joe Flacco, new backup quarterback for the Colts warming up. Anthony Richardson trying to get ready to face this Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Good luck. Good luck. Steelers up 7 Start this football game. Russell Wilson leads them right down. Cordero Patterson was the featured offensive player on that drive. I mean, Arthur Smith finding creative ways to get some of these playmakers the football, and he gets them into the end zone. 4-6 with George Pickens. Let's go, man. Let's go. By the way, quick shout-out. Fernando Martin typing TD. Shannon Roll watching live typing TD in the chat. There we go. Kick is away. They're going to take it out again at the 20. Good uh, kick coverage there by Pittsburgh, only gets to the 23. And that's where Anthony Richardson and the Colts offense will retake the field here. Uh, Producer Sam, what are your thoughts on the early start for the Steelers? It's kind of dominant to this point. I mean, it feels like this offense has kind of found their stride over the course of these first four weeks. Absolutely, baby. All right, now we got the pistol formation from Indy. Takes the snap. He's going to hand it to Jonathan. There's a push from the Steelers' defensive line, and he's taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Keanu Benton, the second-year player out of Wisconsin, who's looking fantastic in OTAs, by the way, swallows up Jonathan Taylor behind the line of scrimmage, and that is not a bonk, Mr. Sam Brown. Uh, that's what's looking dominant so far is that front four, and I'd imagine that's going to be one of the strengths of this team going into the season. Absolutely. And they're playing like it so far, front seven even. Second down and 12, Richardson from the shotgun. Takes a snap. It's going to be a toss play to Jonathan on the outside. He's got some room, and he's going to be taken down after a gain of 10. It'll be third down and two. Here we go, folks. It's third down. Type those threes and wave those towels. Come on, baby. We need another stop. We need another stop. Knights21 in the chat says, there's my boy Benton. He's a beast. Absolutely. I see Fernando Martin, Black Diamond member down there, typing his threes from the pistol formation. Richardson takes the snap. He's going to hand it off. And there's push. And is he, is he going to get there? He is. He gain a three. So decent push by the Steelers' defensive line. But Jonathan Taylor finds a way. Okay. Yep. All right. First down and 10. For the Colts, first first, oh, is that the, no, second first down of the game for this offense. Richardson calling an audible at the line of scrimmage. See what, it looks like he just moved everybody over to the other side. Richardson, shotgun, looking middle, almost intercepted. Joey Porter Jr. had hands on it and he dropped it. And you know what they say, folks, that's why he plays defense. I was, the, those exact words were about to come out of my <laughs> mouth right that's now. That's why, if he, if he could catch, he'd be playing wide receiver. But hey, man, Joey Porter Jr. is great. Hopefully he can haul the next one in there. Second down and 10. Richardson almost threw an interception there. Shotgun, looking. Now he throws. It's going to be incomplete. Poorly thrown. Two for four today, and it'll be third down and long. Send that blitz, Mike Tomlin. Let's go. Time to get exotic. 
We're Let's switching get it after up. Anthony Richardson. We're switching it up. The threes didn't work the last time, so now we're spamming stops in the Spam, chat. Spam stop, stop in the chat. Come on now. The real ones know. Shotgun. Richardson looking. Now he's going to throw deep. Oh, is he going to get it? It's knocked away by Joey Porter Jr. Making up for that dropped interception. It's fourth down and ten, folks. See now, okay, Sam, the stops work. We did stop last time, and it worked. This time we did stop again, now we know. and it worked. Now we know. So now we know. Steelers defense responds to the stops. So here we go. Punt, uh, the punt is going to be away here. Cordero Patterson, who has touched the ball like eight times today, is going to get another one. He'll fair catch it. And here comes the Steelers offense trying to go up two scores already here in the first half. And before we get into this next drive here from the Pittsburgh Steelers, go out and check out our friends at Fanatics. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ to get a brand new Russell Wilson Steelers jersey in your closet today. And you can help support the channel because if you use our link, chatsports.com slash Russ, Click that link. I'll put that in the comments and description of today's show. And then you make a purchase. Fanatics is going to send part of the proceeds to us here at Steelers Talk. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Make sure you go to chatsports.com slash Russ if you want a brand new Russell Wilson jersey. Okay, we are back in Indianapolis here. Pittsburgh up 7-0 with the football here. Defense has gotten two big stops. And now Russell Wilson leads the offense back out there here with about four minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. Under center is Russ. Takes the snap, hands it off to, I think it's Najee, and it is, and he's going to get two yards. Hell, Cordero Patterson has been the better running back than Najee today. No Jalen Warren touches? Zero. He hasn't had a touch all season. Apparently, he's out for the year. Ah, uh, that's brutal. Apparently, he's out for the year because Madden won't put him in. Second down and eight. Russ from the shotgun takes the snap. He's looking. Now he's getting pressured, and he's going to get sacked. Just throw it away, dude. Come on now. I believe that's Leatu Latu, the rookie out of uh, UCLA. It is on the sack. Russ trying to make something happen outside the pocket, and Latu is ready. Took him down, and it'll be second down and or third down and very long here. Third and 21, here for the Steelers' offense. They go empty. Two high safeties for the Colts. Takes the snap. Russ got plenty of time to throw it. He will throw it. Open caught. First down, Steelers. Who is that? That is George Pickens with another huge reception for the Steelers' offense. And Russell Wilson delivers to his boy, George. First down, Steelers. Come on, baby. Type those ones. Russell Wilson, say what you will about him, man, but he can deliver down the field when the defense knows he has to throw the football. That's one of the things he can do pretty darn well. First down and 10. Colt showing pressure. Shotgun formation for Pittsburgh. They're going to hand it off to, I think that's Cordero Patterson. It is. And he's going to pick up a decent gain. Four yards for the Steelers' offense. It'll be second down and six. <sighs> George Pickens taking over this first half here for the Steelers' offense. Russell Wilson looks to be a lot better than he was last week against the Chargers. Now he's in empty. Takes a snap. Looking to get rid of it. Now nothing there. He's going to try to escape. Can he escape? No, he's going to throw it out of bounds. There we go. There we go, Russ. Throw it out of bounds. Smart play, Russ. Smart play. Smart play. Smart play, man. If you got nothing, throw it away. We're don't, playing smart football over here. Don't, don't need to take a sack. We don't have to convert a third and 21 every time there, Russ. All right? Come on now. Third down and six, pistol formation. Three receiver set for Pittsburgh. Takes the snap. Russ is looking. Now throws middle. Short, caught. It's going to be close. Calvin Austin, the third. No way. He got there. That is absolute bull crap right there by the referees. Calvin Austin, the third, made it by a half a yard. There we go. Pittsburgh's challenging. Yeah. That's what I like to see, Mike. Everybody spam boo for the refs. Boo. Every, everybody type boo for the refs. Boo. This is an awful spot. He's clearly down a whole yard ahead of the sticks. What are we doing here, refs? Everybody type those boos. This is ridiculous. The refs hate the Steelers even in a freaking video game. Well, at least it's realistic. It's the only realistic thing about Madden. What are they doing here? Are they changing it? 
Looks like they are. First down and 10 Steelers. Good challenge by Mike Tomlin. Good challenge by Mike Tomlin. Type those ones. Calvin Austin III, his first catch in the last two games with a big pickup there. First down and 10, under center, play action. Russ has all day to throw. He's got to fire down the field, and it's going to be incomplete. He fired it to Calvin Austin III, but it's incomplete. Good coverage by the Colts. It'll be second down and 10. Come on, Russ. Come on now, Russ. Need another touchdown here. Or at least another field goal. Let's put up, let's, let's get up two scores on these guys. Four receiver set for Pittsburgh. Shotgun Russ. He's gonna hand it off to Cordell. He's got a big, big hole. Gets the 30, makes a bad miss. What a move by Cordell Patterson, who is showing out as a running back here for Pittsburgh. First down Steelers. And that is the two-minute war two, the two-minute warning, ladies and gentlemen. Seven-nothing Steelers at Lucas Oil Stadium. Pittsburgh's doing quite well to start this game. Pistol formation. Colts showing pressure. Russ looking. Now he's going to run up the middle. He's got lots of room, and he's going to fall down after nine yards. 21 yards rushing for Pittsburgh's or, or for uh, Russ so far. It'll be second down and one. And we're in the Fanatics red zone here. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ to pick up a Russell Wilson jersey today because Russ is about to put us in the end zone again. Second down and one, shotgun, Russ looking. Back pedals, it's a screen to Cordero. He's got blockers, but uh, whoever 54 is, I think that's Zach Frazier, didn't get his job done there. Still a first down for Cordero. First down and goal for the Steelers. Come on, folks. Spam those TDs in the chat if you want a touchdown here. Spam those TDs. We got less than a minute left in the half. Can the Steelers go up two touchdowns? With the ball, by the way, at half. Here we go, Russ, he's looking to throw. He's going to try to run up the middle. Can he get in the end zone? No, he's going to fall at the two, at the one-yard line. Russell Wilson. I mean, Russell Wilson's been running the football today quite effectively. In previous games, like sometimes he would just throw the ball out of bounds when he had a wide-open lane up the middle, Sam. Today he's taking that advantage for himself, and he's picking up that yardage. And we know that he can do it, too. He's not an unathletic human being. So, All right. It great is, that he's older. It's Najee time, baby. Eye formation. They hand it to Najee. Breaks a tackle. He's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Najee Harris breaks a tackle from DeForest Buckner, of all people, and then finds his way into the end zone as Russ celebrates with his offense there on the sideline. And with 33 seconds left to go in the half, Boswell puts it up, and it is good. 14-0 Pittsburgh. Let's go. Type those TDs. Sonny. Sonny's saying, where's Jalen? And I know, man, I guess Madden thinks that he's just going to get hurt for like the entire season or something because we're, we're featuring Cordero Patterson. It's unbelievable. Great start for the Steelers here, Producer Sam. I mean, they're very clearly the better team here. That's how it should be in, if, all things, if all things stand as they are. The Steelers have a better roster top to bottom than the Colts, and it's not even close. Yeah, absolutely. Kick is away. Colts have about 30 seconds to try to put some points on the board before Russ and company get the ball back. Colts are going to take it to the 22. And here comes Anthony Richardson, who's got 30 seconds exactly to try and try to salvage this first half and try to put some points on the board for the blue and white. I don't even know if, I don't even know if they, that's something they call themselves. They just call them the Colts. I mean, they don't, they don't even deserve to be called the Colts how bad they're playing right now, man. This looks like the Atlanta Falcons game when the Steelers just completely dominated. First down and 10. Richardson's looking. Here comes Cam Hayward, and he puts him in the dirt. Second down and 16. Cam Hayward showing he's still a top five defensive tackle in football. Type those sacks in the chat. Let's go. Cam Hayward making his presence known on this Steelers defense. And it's going to be, and they're going to let the clock run till halftime here. 14 nothing Steelers, and they get the ball heading into the third quarter. Anthony Richardson and the Colts offense puts up a goose egg 
to start this one in Andy. Now, before we get into the second half here in this week four matchup, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. We're going to be here for every single game of this simulated Madden season. Every Wednesday and every Friday, we go live to do this uh, live on our Steelers Talk live shows. So if you want to join that, it's a lot of fun. We have a bunch of great people that show up every single week. So make sure you click that subscribe button right now and help us get to 54,000 subscribers. Okay, we are back at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis here for the second half of this week four matchup. Steelers came into this one undefeated. Indianapolis came into it one and two. And now the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, after having two games in a row against kind of inferior opponents, uh, close games, but getting victories, now it seems like they're back to their dominating ways. They killed the Atlanta Falcons and Kirk Cousins in week one, 42 to seven. Now they're up two scores against the Colts here to start the second half, and they're going to get the football back. I think if uh, Pittsburgh can score on this drive, it's going to put the final nail in the coffin here, and the Steelers are going to walk out of week four. Four and oh, as they're going to kick it off here. Pittsburgh will take it out of the end zone. It's Cordero Patterson who gets to the 25 and gets a little bit more to the 27. Good return from Cordero, and here comes Russell Wilson who has one touchdown pass today to George Pickens. He converted a big third and 21 on the last offensive drive. He's looked pretty good today. He hasn't been perfect, but that's not what the Steelers are asking for Russ here. They're not asking him to be Patrick Mahomes. They're not asking him to be the superstar quarterback. They're asking him to be somebody that can make some plays here and there and get this team in the end zone. That's what he's doing. Shotgun here for Russ. He's going to go to his check down Muth. It's going to be another first down. Steelers get those Muths in the chat. Come on now. Pat Firemuth has had a hell of a season to this point. Continues it here. First down Steelers once again as Russ gets this uh, operation going here in the third quarter. Shotgun formation for Russ. Going to take the snap. He's looking, looks like a mesh concept. Now he's going to try to get outside the pocket. Now he's going to run, and he's going to fall down with a two-yard gain. So Russell Wilson, he's signaling a first down after a two-yard gain. He, this isn't the first time he's done that, by the way. Russ, somebody tell Russ that that sign means first down and not a two-yard gain on a first down. I got to say, Matt and Russ is an awkward faller. He, he just never looks comfortable falling no, he does forward. Not. And he his never face, slides either. It looks like drops. his face hits the ground Second first. down and eight, Russ. Throws another drag to Pat, and it's another big game. First down, Steelers, and type those moots. Type those moots in the chat, baby. Pat Firemuth has taken two drag routes for like 15-yard gains. Russell Wilson knows what's up. Getting the ball to 88. First down and 10, now in Colt territory. Trying to make this a three-score game. And you know what? I'm okay with a field goal here. You go up three scores. But you know what? We always want that touchdown. Handoff to Najee Harris. He hurdles a man at the line of scrimmage, and he gets eight yards. Best carry of the day for Najee Harris outside of the touchdown run. Second down and two upcoming. I mean, they can close it out with points. This is about as good of a start as you can imagine. For two now they're going to hand it off to Najee. He's going to get a one-yard gain. Uh-oh. Did I jinx that? I think you might was have that, jinxed it, me? Sam. If we don't get a first down here, spam those F Sams in the chat because he I just might, jinxed us. I might just have to sit quiet over here. <laughs> third down and one upcoming here. Steelers have been excellent on third downs today, converting on every single one. No punts for the Steelers to this point. Under center, hand off to Najee. He's going to pick it up. First down, Steelers. And there we go. There's a first down sign that's actually appropriate, Sam Brown. Najee Harris knows when it's appropriate to go to that first down signal. Better late than never. <laughs> first down and 10 for the Steelers. They're getting closer to the Fanatics red zone here. Definitely in Chris Boswell field goal range. Shotgun, Russ, play action. He's looking. He's going to throw middle caught by uh, George Pickens for another first down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a holding on the Steelers. Gosh darn it. Troy Fautanu. By the way, there's only been two holding penalties on the Steelers 
offense this entire year. Both have been on Fa'utanu, the starting right tackle. So here we go. First down and 20. Russ has got to work his magic here. From the shotgun, he's looking. Now he has to escape the pocket. Now he throws through his check down. It's caught by Cordero, and he gets leveled after a three-yard gain. Second down at 17. Pittsburgh had to work really hard for a short gain there, uh, Sam. He's really loving Russ's that, uh, that wide spin left out of the pocket today. It feels like that's the fourth or fifth time I've seen it so far. <laughs> Second down and 17. Under center. Looks like they're going to run it. Najee Harris has a lot of room. He stiff arms a man. He's going to pick up 10. It's going to be third down and seven. So still a third and long situation here for Pittsburgh. But at the 28-yard line, Boz can definitely hit a field goal here and make it three, three possessions. Runner pass here, what do you think? Try and set yourself up for I'm the field I'm goal better? Or get a, I'm, passing it. I'm passing it, Sam, but I'm not taking a sack. No matter what, I'm not taking a sack. Third down and seven. Looking, Russ. Trying to go up the middle. He's got room. First down, Steelers. Now do the first down sign. Now do it. There it is. First down, Steelers. Russell Wilson is taking advantage of his legs in this one. Everybody type RW in the chat for Russell Wilson, who has led this offense down the field consistently throughout the day. And shout out, Russ. Right back in the Fanatics red zone. Right back in the Fanatics red zone here. Under center, it's going to be a five-step drop. Russ looks, throws. It's going to be caught. Is this? It's not Darnell Washington, is it? That's Darnell Washington with the catch. There we go, Darnell. DW getting going here. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ. Pick up a brand new Russell Wilson number three Steelers jersey today. So here we go. Second down and two from the 11. Pittsburgh threatening yet again. Shotgun formation for Russ takes the snap. He's looking middle, and it's horribly thrown to Cordero Patterson, even though he was like two yards away from him. So, I mean, about once per game, Russ has had like this really perplexing missed opportunity, and there it is for this game, I guess. It'll be third down and two. Third down and two shotgun formation for Russ. He's going to hand it off to, I think this is Najee. And no, it's Cordero, and he's going to fight his way in. Touchdown, Steelers! Cordero Patterson making this his game as he's rolling around in the end zone, and you know what that means, folks. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Another touchdown for the Steelers as Boswell puts it up and good. 21-0 Pittsburgh in Indianapolis. I mean, this is getting close to an ass-whooping now. I mean, look at that momentum meter right there. It's all the way on the side of the Steelers, and they're not even home. They are the away team, and they have all the momentum up 21-0 and by the way, the Colts have to get three touchdowns in pretty much one quarter. I think this game's over, folks. I think it's over. But you know what? It ain't over till it's over here on Steelers Talk. We're going to be here for the rest of the game. So make sure you stick with us here, and we see how much the Steelers pile on here. Boz kicks it away. It is caught. And it's going to be taken to the 24. So here comes Anthony Richardson. No points for the Ponies to this point. Can't call him Colts because that's too cool sounding of a name for this type of offense. Holy shnikes, they've been bad. 21-0, Steelers defense dominating, and they've got all the momentum on their side. Good luck, Indy. Not going to get nothing. When the Steelers get a big lead on you like this, it's really hard to come back. It really is with this defense. From the shotgun, Richardson looking. He's going to throw to his check down. Jonathan Taylor makes a man miss, and he's going to get you know a first down. That is a bullshit call and a, and a spot there. He was like a yard just in front. Justin Fields is having a great time, guys. Are you guys having a good time? I am. This is a fantastic butt whooping that we're watching right now by the Pittsburgh Steelers, dealt to the Indianapolis Colts. First down and 10. After the, the Zebras gave him a first down out of pity, they're going to give it to Jonathan Taylor for a gain of one. Good job by the Steelers' run defense there. Steelers' run defense has struggled a little bit the last two weeks, but they're back to their dominant ways here, and that's going to end the third quarter. Spam those fours. 
Spam those fours in the chat if you're ready for the fourth quarter. We're not done yet here, folks. We're not done yet. We still have another touchdown to get. Second down and nine. Shotgun Richardson takes the snap. He's looking. Now he's going to throw to the flat, wide open. Mo Alley Cox is going to take it for eight yards. Third down and one. It's third down and short here, folks. Spam those stops, not those threes. Spam stop. It has worked every single time to this point. Let's make it work again. Wave those towels. Come on. Third down and one shotgun for the Colts. Two high safeties for the Steelers. It's Richardson looks. He's going to throw down the sideline. Caught by Michael Pittman Jr. A tough one there on Ryan Watts. By the way, next week's streams, we will have Cam Sutton as the starting slot corner for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ryan Watts, this is his last game. So this actually works out because we're just going to say the NFL suspended Cam Sutton for four games. That's what we're going to say. And that kind of works out. I nice like that cause, narrative. Because he might. From the shotgun, Richardson hands it off to Taylor. He's got room to run. He breaks a tackle. This is going to be touchdown Indianapolis. Big time run for Jonathan Taylor. He's had a good day. Been the only good part of this Indianapolis offense. And he's going to dance when he's down two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. That's a decision. Type F Indianapolis if you hate that he danced on you. If you think Jonathan Taylor is a chump for dancing when he's down by two touchdowns, type F Indy. So Colts will put it up and good. It's 21-7 at Lucas Oil Stadium. Now we get to probably see the Steelers' offense for probably one more time here. Let's go down and march down the field one more time here, Sam Brown, and let's finish this thing off with another touchdown for the black and gold. Yeah, it's, it's time to close the door on these losers. Send them back home. I guess they are home, so send them you know, to their house from Lucas Oil Stadium. Let's just finish it out. Let's get 4-0 already. Absolutely. You know what it would be? It would be like very classic Madden to try and let the Colts back into the game with five minutes left. Just every single thing that could go wrong over this stretch does go wrong. I'm excited to see if that happens here today. There we go. Uh, Mr. Cordero Patterson will take it out because why not? Going to take it to about the 20-yard line. All right. First down and 10. Let's lock in. Jesus. Thanks, Joey. Here we go. Let's lock in, folks. First down and 10. Sub for Steelers dubs. Hand off to Najee. It's going nowhere. It's a loss of one. Looks like the Colts are kind of figuring out that the Steelers are just trying to kill some clock here. I'm okay with this strategy, Sam. Just kill clock, and then by the time they get the football... They're going to have, like, no time to score two touchdowns. They're going to have to go down, score, and then they're going to have to get an onside kick, which is, like, a 0% chance in Madden. As long as they're effective with it. Absolutely. From the shotgun, Russ takes a snap, hands it off to Cordero, and he is loose. He makes a man miss. Cordero's out here juking folks, and he picks up a first down. Najee who? Jalen who? Not Cordero Patterson looks like a world beater out there. Unbelievable. Number 84 is taking this, uh, you know, role, I guess, that Arthur Smith has given him in this week four matchup and ran with it, literally. He might be the best running back in football. Under center, Russ, play action. He's got plenty of time. Now he's going to throw. Perfect throw on the outside on the seven to Pat Fryer. Move everyone, spam those moves in the chat. Firemuth having another big day receiving. First down and 10 Steelers. Just kill clock here, man. Just kill it. Keep running the football. No, they're going to pass it. They're not done, folks. Russ throws, and it's going to be at the feet of Calvin Austin the third. Second down and 10 upcoming. Oh, my goodness. Good. It's a good game here for Pittsburgh. You know, after two games where, you know, you feel like you're the better team than Los Angeles and Denver and it's closer than you want it to be. It's nice to go on the road and really get a nice victory like this. That is if they lock it up here. Let's hope they do that. Oh, no. What a terrible play. It must have been a miscommunication. 
Isaac Samalo ran into, I think it was Russell Wilson trying to hand it off. Thank God there wasn't a fumble. And now it's third and 11. Clock continues to run. Three minutes left to go in this game. Third down and 11. Empty formation for Russ. It looks like they're trusting him to throw the football. And now they're going to dump it off to George. And he's not going to get there. Be fourth down and five. But they're at the 36. So should they kick the field goal or should they uh, knock him back? Because it looks like this is going to go all the way down to the two-minute warning. I almost wonder whether you just pin him deep, or you at least try to. It depends on the confidence in, in, in the punter. The two-minute warning is here in Indy. 21-7. Colts still have all three timeouts. Honestly, I would try to kick the field goal because the field goal finishes it. The field goal finishes it, essentially, because it's three scores. If you give it to them, they could score, onside kick, and then score again, and it's tied. No, they're going to go for it. Russell Wilson from the shotgun takes the snap. He's looking downfield. Oh, and it's off target. Indy will take over at their own 36. It was intended for George Pickens. I would have just kicked the field goal there, man. I know it would have been a long field goal there, Sam, but I think, you know, if you make that, it's over. You're up by 17. They can't score three times with less than two minutes left. I, Why would you go for it? I, I completely agree because whether they miss it or whether they go for it and don't get it, they're still starting at the 36-yard line. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't get that at all. And then why is the design for the play to throw it like 30 yards downfield? I don't get it. I get you're throwing it to your best player, but come on now. Shotgun formation for Richardson trying to escape. Now he throws a crossbody, wide open caught. What a play by Anthony Richardson to roll out to his left, stop on a dime, throw it crossbody down the field. To <laughs> what a play. First down, Indy, and now they're driving. Might be nervous time here in Pittsburgh. First down and 10, shotgun. Richardson looks, caught. Clock still click ticking there, Anthony or Michael Pittman with another nice catch. First down and ten. But the more that clock continues to tick, and by the way, the they still have, I'm they, starting they, to get worried. They still have three timeouts too, so if they get a touchdown here, they're kicking it away to Pittsburgh from the shotgun as they enter the Fanatics red zone. Dumps it off to the tight end. Terrible decision by Richardson. Now the clock's going to be running. Patrick Queen takes him down. We'll take that rookie mistake. We'll take that rookie mistake there from the second-year quarterback. We're not going to get in the way of them making mistakes, folks. Go to chatsports.com slash Russ to pick up your Russell Wilson jersey today. Second down and seven. Shotgun formation for Richardson. Takes the snap. Needs to throw end zone, man. Now he's going to dump it off to Taylor, and he's going to be swallowed up, and the clock is going to continue to run. I think at this point, if you're Indianapolis, you've got to think about taking a timeout. And take your chances on the on the onside. Their clock management late in games has been brutal. I mean, I mean the first half. They what let is the clock Richardson run out thinking? Oh. Richardson dumping it off in the middle of the field? It's ridiculous. Forty seconds left. Richardson from the shotgun. It's third and five. It's a big down here. Now he's going to try to escape. He's got a running back open. It's going to be picked up for the first down. Timeout, Colts. And at this point, you need to call timeouts. You do. At this point, you're relying on the onside kick. At this point, you're relying on getting a touchdown and getting the onside kick. So Steelers still have like a 99% chance of winning this football game. Job's not finished. Job's not finished, folks. Let's get it done. Shotgun formation for Richardson. Watch for the, for the read option. Nope, now he's going to try to run outside. No, 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 you're not going anywhere. Cole Holcomb, the mullet in the middle, wraps up Richardson who was trying to run. Second timeout for Indy. Everybody spam sack in the chat. Fernando Martin is down there spamming sack. Let's go. Pittsburgh Steelers knocking on the door of 4-0 and on the season in our Madden simulated campaign. Now from the shotgun, Richardson looking end zone, off target, third down and goal coming up. Fitzpatrick on the coverage. Let's go, baby. 23 seconds away from 4-0 and in the Russell Wilson era here in Pittsburgh, or at least in Madden world. We need to stop here, folks. Spam those stops as I voice crack. Spam those Do stops. what?
from the shotgun, Richardson looking. Now he's going to throw end zone, incomplete, off target. Richardson's been terrible with his accuracy and ball placement down the field today. Fourth down, here's the game, folks. Spam those stops. Get those towels going and spam those stops, people. From the shotgun, Richardson takes the snap. He's looking. There's some room for him to run if he chooses to. He's not. He's going to throw end zone. Caught. Is he, did he get two feet in? They're going to say yes. Touchdown, Colts. Michael Pittman took a shot after catching this football, a beautifully placed ball from Richardson, and he just got it in there. It was Deshaun Elliott on the coverage. Joey Porter Jr. came in to lay the wood. Pause. And now bonk, there's a bonk, booth bonk. review. There is a booth review to see if Michael Pittman Jr. caught this football. I think he did. It looks like clearly to me. Like I don't think he ever goes out of bounds. I think he's. I think he's in. I think this is a touchdown. This is just a great catch. So if this is a catch, and I think it is, it looks like it will be. Um, this it's going to come down to the onside kick here, folks. Indianapolis does have one timeout, so if they get the ball back, they can, you know, try something here. They can stop the clock one time if they get the ball back. So it is a good touchdown. They're going to put it up. The PAT attempt is good, 21-14. And if this is the final score here, folks, and I think it will be, it's going to look like this game was a lot closer than it actually ended up being. Pittsburgh dominated this football game. But it was just kind of that quick turnaround in the fourth quarter of not getting that fourth down and then Richardson and the Colts going down and scoring. Like that's why it looks like it's closer than it actually is. But now it comes down to the onside kick and there's no reason for them to be showing Cordero. He's not getting the ball here. Can the Pittsburgh Steelers seal it here as the kick is away and it's, and it's secured by the Pittsburgh Steelers? Roman Wilson... The rookie out of Michigan secures it for the hands team. And with 13 seconds left, barring a fumble, this game's going to be over. Everybody spam those W's in the chat for the fourth straight win for the Pittsburgh Steelers in our simulated Madden season this year. And now they will head to Acrisure Stadium next week. Well, we're, we're going to be going live on Wednesday, guys, just so you guys know, for Sunday night football against the Dallas Cowboys. But we'll get to that in a second. Type those W's in the chat, man. Steelers win this ball game. Final score, 21-14. to 14. They just have to snap the ball one more time because Indianapolis called that timeout for some reason. So Russ from midfield will take the ball, take the knee, and that's going to be it. Pittsburgh, 4-0 and to start their 2024 season with Russell Wilson as their quarterback. And if this actually happens in real life, folks, the NFL is going to wake up real quick to how good the Pittsburgh Steelers football club is, okay? The defense is playing fantastic, okay? Russell Wilson is playing definitely good enough to put points on the board and deliver victories. And now heading into next week with the Dallas Cowboys, we'll get to that in a second, that's going to be a real litmus test for the Pittsburgh Steelers in front of a national audience. Okay, so now that we're done with our game here in week four, let's take a look at what happened around the AFC North here in week four. The Ravens picked up a W against the Buffalo Bills. The Bengals picked up a win against the Patriots. And the Browns also won against the Las Vegas Raiders. So a complete sweep for the AFC North. Everybody ends up adding a victory. So right now, Pittsburgh is the only team in the division with a 4-0 record, but Every other team is 3-1, and one, okay? So every team in this division is putting up Ws uh, like nobody's business. So Pittsburgh, it just takes one loss to take this team from first to tied for last, okay? So you got to keep the momentum going. You got to go into next week against the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football and deliver a victory. We're going to be doing that live stream, breaking down Sunday Night Football between the Steelers and Cowboys, trying to get to 5-0 and oh. Uh, next week, Wednesday, actually. Wednesday, June 12th, not Friday. Wednesday, June 12th, week five versus the Dallas Cowboys. Make sure you join us then. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already to catch all of our Madden streams throughout the 2024 season.